capable. But these guys, Serena has won a couple mixed doubles uh, Grand Slam uh, titles with Max Murny a few years back, and Marty Fish is uh, an excellent doubles player. So um, I just don't see them uh, winning this one. I really don't. Yelena on one leg is, you know, against Serena at full tilt. That's that's a that's a hard one to match up to. Well, they'll give it a, another good try because against the odds, they've they've won carrying Yankovic in this condition, and uh, she'll be giving it her absolute best. Yelena Yankovic at a career high ranking of three in the world at the age of 22, and what a 2007 she had with uh, singles victories, four of them: Auckland, Charleston, Rome, and Birmingham along with a host of finals and semi-finals. And at the Hopman Cup, she defeated uh, Shet Suwei of Chinese Taipei 4-4, four and four, and they won the mixed, but uh, retired injured when that f injury first appeared against Tatiana Golovan. But they come, came out and defeated France in the mixed and super tiebreak. In fact, all three of their mixed doubles have gone to super tiebreaks. And she, of course, has had to default her singles match. And Novak Djokovic, how's he feeling? More about his right shoulder as the match unfolds. But he's only 20 and he's done so much. He too, at three in the world. He too, with a big 2007. Host of uh, victories and finals, including the US Open. At uh, the Hopman Cup, he defeated Lou. Chinese Taipei got a bit more than he bargained for there and defeated Arnaud Clement fairly straightforward fashion in the singles and the mixed doubles as you can see against Argentina again taken to a super tie break they've uh, had to tough it out on education it's been a little more straightforward for the USA although as we know Serena Williams filled in uh, is uh, replacing Megan Shaughnessy after the first tie, but a bit more about Serena. There she is, ranked seven, has been number one. Won the Australian Open in Miami last year, so she's the defending title holder as she goes to Melbourne later this month. Quarterfinals, the French, Wimbledon and the US Open. Eight Grand Slam singles titles. And she's missed quite a few uh, tournaments along the way too at the Grand Slams. But, uh, there is some of that impressive record six Grand Slam doubles titles and a couple of mixed as Martina mentioned Shaughnessy played the first match in singles for the US and uh, Serena has looked impressive since and Marty Fish has had a tough night already he uh, had a chance to beat uh, Djokovic didn't quite do it so it'll be down to the mixed and he'll be wanting to cash in Highest ranking of 17, he's at 39. Finalist at New Haven last year. A couple of semis. Quarter finalist at the Australian Open. He's won two singles titles and three doubles titles. Beat Rohan Vapana. And Peter Luchak, 7-6, 7-6. And they defeated uh, Australia in the mixed doubles. Just may have had a chance until the end of the second set in the men's singles when uh, Novak clearly hurt his shoulder and there's a little bit of a, an impinged movement there on his serve. He's been the man that's able to win the two mixed doubles where Yelena Yankovic was really at about 75%. He was really able to thrust himself around the court and impose himself. But tonight, up against the Americans, I think uh, Marty Fish is a very disappointed young man that he didn't take this tie out in the singles. The and I'm so. sure he's going to be really pumped up to play with, in my opinion, probably the best females doubles player, even though she doesn't play week to week in out as we saw. It's been quite a few years since she's won a Grand Slam. She just chooses not to. It's too many matches at a Grand Slam for her. As they are as they were in Hopping Cup 16, second seeds here. Right, Serbia to serve. Oh, well, it's 
pretty funny with Serena Williams worked her way up to the net and Marty Fish chose to stay on the baseline. 15 now. It's like he wasn't quite up to it. He needs to wake up. First one. there from Djokovic. It's really funny though, just watching that match, there's about a thousand Serbians up there really barracking for the Serbian team here and uh, sitting in the American box. Just heard the lone supporter, it was Serena going, come on Marty. <laughs> <laughs> there's just not many Americans here. 40 love. All the Australian uh, capital cities are multicultural places. There are people from everywhere in this country. It makes it a great place that it is. Okay, Serbia. Elena Jankovic set a record in this tournament. Guess what that is? Least she, amount of games played. She defaulted three <laughs> matches and she's still playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good effort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Lucy Helpman. Sitting next to Steve Yeo from the tournament sponsor. And you sat next to Lucy at, uh, at the I, afternoon I tea I did today, and yeah. I found out she actually lives in St. Petersburg. I live in Sarasota, no, which is about Sarasota. less than an hour away oh, right. yeah. <laughs> in the States, in Florida. Well, I hope you got her telephone number. You'll be off to have tea with her soon, Martina. I'm going to have to go and hang out and listen to her stories. <laughs> her aunt was Hazel White Whiteman, who, who started the Whiteman Cup, which was a competition oh, exactly. between the U.S. and uh, Great Britain. Love oh. it. Novak, Novak is the best player on the court, so uh, he just might carry this uh, this match. Of course, also keep in mind that this is the one match where Yelena did not re-injure her leg prior to the match because she didn't play the single, so she may not be as badly off as she was yesterday for yeah. her mixed. She may not be as much of a gimp <laughs> this time around. But amazing how well she could play on one leg, that's really remarkable. Well, the good thing is that she's playing on the backhand, and the backhand, she's able to hit through the ball a little bit more. It's the forehand, the outside leg, when she steps in. She has a little bit of a problem there. Oh, just missed the corner. 30, well, I also know there's no tear there. It's, it's certainly uh, bruising and it's it's very sore. Just look at uh, the stretch there. Full end of reach shot for Novak. Just missing. And you'd have to say, if she's saving herself for a match, it's got to be for the final. 40, this is 50. it. She's got to give everything, if possible, break through that pain barrier. Serena just looks so so buoyant, so happy. She loves playing mixed. When she, do, I, I'm surprised she doesn't play more of the Grand Slams. Oh. Hey. Give herself some match practice because she doesn't really play that much during the oh, year. So this would be a better way of getting some some matches under her belt without that much pressure. And uh, she clearly enjoys being on the court with the guys. 